So every time I make one of these videos, I get really annoyed with myself while editing for not taking a second to explain to the people watching the video where we're going. I just show up and then put a thing on the screen and say where we're at. I figured giving a little background might be useful. Okay, hi, I'm currently hiding in the stairwell of my apartment building because I tried doing this outside. I can't do it in front of Mark and then my neighbors walked by and so I'm just like, oh my gosh. I don't know how to talk to this camera in front of people. I feel so awkward, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. All right, so these are our stops today. So our first stop is going to be the Garrison Rock Resource Management Unit. So I don't know if this is just like a park or what, but it's got some pretty cool bluffs and I'm excited to figure out what that is all about. And then we have Chief Wapello's Memorial Park, which is the burial place of the tribe chief, Chief Wapello. And then we have the American Gothic House and Center. So this is um, probably not going to be open, I don't think, today because it's Easter, but worth going and seeing. So yeah, I think it's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I have well and truly taken us to the middle of nowhere. This is fantastic. So fun. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> Doesn't feel like my most safe decision. But... Can I wait? Can I get up there?
<laughs> a little tight. Oh my gosh, it's cool over here too. <sighs> well, hey, we couldn't go to Makoka this weekend, but we got pretty dang close, I would say. Oh gosh, it feels so good down here. Like the lower you get, the better it feels. Oh, it feels like air conditioning. Oh my gosh. So nice. This is why I know it's sandstone, it's because like the rocks, as they start to break down, they're literally turning to sand. Woo! Or back to sand, I suppose. They already were sand. Oh, it's on my forehead. Oh no. Eh. I hope you just got my cute side. You did, didn't you? Yep. See, like, look at all this sand. It's cool because this is just all of these rocks. Wow, it is significant. Like, 20 degrees warmer once you get right here. I can feel it. That's so crazy. Go for it. Three, two, one, parkour! Flame. I think it's interesting you can hear frogs over here, but you don't hear them back there. Like, where are they at? Talking to myself. <laughs> so, while Mark is back there picking up trash, I figured I'd explain where we are and what we're doing. We are at the Wapello County Conservation Board Garrison Rock Resource Management Unit. And I went ahead and pulled up some info. So, it says uh okay so i was wrong it was actual actually rolling terrain consisting primarily of high quality oak oak oh well <sighs> rolling terrain consisting primarily of high quality oak timber and open ridge tops much of the open areas were farmed grazed or hayed prior to wccb's ownership Prairie restoration is underway on the balance of the open ground, making it ideal turkey and deer habitat. Garrison Rock is actually a large sandstone outcrop overlooking the Des Moines River Valley. This area is very important historically, being a Native American gathering site and one of the first places European settlers occupied in Wapello County. A pioneer cemetery occupies a bluff top overlooking the Des Moines River, 
Both Native Americans and early settlers used Horse Thief Cave for shelter, which collapsed over 50 years ago, which is where we just were. During the early 1900s, Garrison Rock was a must-see site for all of the local townsfolk. Horse-drawn buggies and sleighs would carry Atemwa residents to the area to picnic, hike, and explore Horse Thief Cave. Garrison Rock is a high-quality oak-slash-hickory forest resource with excellent plant and animal diversity. Hmm. 302 acres. So it says left is Horace P Street, four months, and right is John B Street, ten months, and the grandsons of Joseph M and Eliza Maria Street. And this one is the sacred Eliza Maria, consort of General Joseph Street, born in Virginia, August 26, 1792, died near Agency City, February 2nd, 1847, at the age of 55 years. General Joseph Street. Firm in the hour of danger, he had a soul sincere and a heart full of the best feelings of humanity. Virtue, honor, and piety were his guides. He died at the Sack and Fox Agency, May 15, 1840. Lucy Francis, wife of John Beach and daughter of Joseph Street. And then Wapello, a principal chief of the Foxes, born at Prairie du Chien about the year of 1787 died near the forks of the Skunk River, March 15, 1842, and here buried at his own request, this stone was erected by the Sac and Fox Nation. He's distinguished from early years for his valor, he was no less remarkable for his kindness and benevolence towards the people, his honesty of character, and his strict friendship towards the white man won for himself universal regard. There it is. There she is. Oh, come on, there she is. Only one other person now. I'm loving these really dead quiet places. We need to start coming to places on holidays. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So that's the house. It was in celebration of Grantwood's 125th anniversary in 2016. Overalls all over created 24 life-size fiberglass statues depicting the farmer and daughter from American Gothic. Artists created unique designs for each statue. This piece, Through the Eyes of Grantwood, was designed by Atumwa artist Chris Igbit and painted by her and Joshua Lingen. The statue highlights pieces from 20 other Grantwood paintings and lithographs to intrigue visitors to look deeper into the many Accomplished works would created during his lifetime. Oh. How do you stop making it harder than it is? Ooh, this is a, oh. Thanks, too. How many times can I say oh in one sentence? Ah, no, get it! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> This was from um, that thing we did last year where you signed into the park, but it like didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Iowa looks awesome with you. You have found one of the best spots in Iowa for a photo. Take your phone out and set it on the shelf in the back of the station. Set your timer and smile. Sweet. We're doing it. So cool. 
Are you sure it's not locked? Yeah, like I'm breaking the rules. So where do you start? Does it matter? I wish they had like a little pamphlet that explained it. So from what I read in line, it is the world's only complete sundial that not only takes time, but takes the date and like the day, the month, the year, the time of day where the planets are and the stars from what i understand it is the only complete one in the world unfortunately we have no idea how it works so it's only as cool as saying that it's cool but you could also say that it's the world's largest jello sculpture and we would have to believe it